Do you want to check out IT Pro TV but aren't ready to commit? We're making a few episodes from our most popular courses free for you to try here on YouTube so you can see what they're all about. Enjoy this episode and head over to itpro.tv when you're ready to see the full course. Welcome, thank you for joining the AZ900 series. Whether you work in tech or you just wanna learn about the cloud, this is your perfect opportunity to learn about Azure. And I'm Cherokee Boos. I've been working in tech for over a decade, specifically dealing with Microsoft products. I have several Microsoft certifications. I've been a Microsoft certified trainer. And this is really cool. You get not only one, but you get two Microsoft trainers for this particular course. And this course has been a lot of fun. So let me go ahead and introduce Mr. Mike Roderick as the other hey. instructor. Hey, thanks, Jerky. Yep, I'm really excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun working with uh, two SMEs. Again, I am Mike Roderick, another edutainer here at IT Pro TV. Also been a Microsoft certified trainer uh, for some time. And as you said, Cherokee, this is a kind of a new thing for us doing two SMEs in the same course. So looking forward to that, going to be a lot of fun. So what is this course about? Well, well, this again is the AZ900 series. So by following along with us and studying over the material, you'll be preparing for the AZ900 exam. And upon completion of that exam, you will receive the Azure Fundamental Certification uh, from Microsoft. Now, being a fundamentals course, that's telling us that there's not a lot of prerequisite, -re -pre if I can say that, prerequisite knowledge for this particular course. This is designed for those of you that are maybe just getting started in IT. Or maybe you've been in IT for a little while, but you're not real familiar with cloud services. So if you're just getting started in cloud. But even if you're not in IT, this course is designed also for people that just need to deal with cloud. Maybe you're a, a sales manager person and you need to be able to talk intelligently about cloud resources and Azure services. Or maybe you manage a department that utilizes Azure and cloud resources. You need to understand what their needs are to help support them. This is going to be the course for you. Now the material that we're going to present to you throughout this course comes straight from Microsoft. You can go out to Microsoft's page, you can do a quick web search for AZ900 exam objectives. You'll find Microsoft page where they'll list out all of the different topics that they expect you to be familiar with in order to pass this certification. And we're just gonna start at the top and work our way down through it. So if you go out and get a copy of those objectives, you'll be able to follow along. And the objectives are gonna cover things like uh, understanding cloud concepts. That's gonna be about 15 to 20% of that exam. Another 30 to 35% of the objectives is gonna be about understanding core Azure services. And then we're gonna have another 25 to 30% on security, privacy, compliance and trust, and then another 20 to 25% talking about Azure pricing and support. So these are going to be the topics that we're going to cover as we proceed through this AZ900 course. That's right, definitely take advantage of those objectives and use them as a checklist for everything that you still need to cover and watch different shows that you need to learn throughout this series. I think this is a good exam for people who are just getting started because one, it's an entry level exam. You don't have a lot of pressure and sometimes that equates to a monetary, uh, depending how much the exam costs, right? So you don't have a lot of pressure here. $99 is a lot of money. That's how much it currently is in US dollars. But believe me, there are some exams that are pretty expensive. So this is a good one to just test and get your toes wet if you're just getting started. And you'll have a good amount of time. Microsoft is pretty fair with their time to question ratios. However, they don't give you an exact number of questions that you're gonna have on the exam. They say between 40 and 60 questions. So you have a variable based on which pool of questions you get for that exam. You'll get 60 minutes to take the exam, but a lot for a little more of seat time because they like to ask you those fun survey questions. And you also wanna make sure you have enough time to get there early. So definitely plan ahead for that. And let me just say that this show has been so much fun. I can't wait to share it with you. Mike and I have worked really hard on, well, I guess just being our goofy selves and trying to be as authentic as possible so we could get this information to you in a way that you could digest it, even if you didn't have a technical background. So I think, well, I guess I wanna celebrate with you because I know you're gonna be successful in this journey. So how about this? When you're finished and you pass your certification, take a picture and tag us on social media. We're all over out there so you can find us. We'd love to hear from you and celebrate with you on your journey. So I think let's go ahead and just get started. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.